is going on ladies and gentlemen it is your boy tony shen before i begin with today's content i just want to introduce you to the new tony shen podcasting chill vibes corner this is a corner that i just you know clean and organized within the studio that i want to kind of dedicate to like talk sessions where we just talk about stuff like that and i have more content in the future where i just kind of sit here and talk about random topics that you guys might find interesting so just a little, little, little teaser but let's get to today's video i want to talk i want to introduce you to another free vst that i'm absolutely falling in love with it's called Mo uh, voltage modular and it's like a modular synthesis type vst so if you guys don't know what modular synthesis is basically it's like like in real life right you'd have a bunch of hardware like oscillators you would connect it like physically you would physically wire them to like filters or um you know, lfos or all this other cool stuff like reverbs delays too and basically it allows you to build your own instrument but this company who's giving out their vst free they're basically allowing you to build your own instruments, but like digitally. And this is a really amazing plugin that I like to walk you guys through. The goal of today is I'm kind of just walking through VST and then we're gonna meld it together. And then, you know, maybe I'll preview like a beat that I made with it or something like that. So before I get to the content though, if you guys haven't done so already, mash that like button, drop a comment on, you know, any VSTs you guys want me to cover next. And Make sure to subscribe because I have tons of amazing BST like walkthrough content coming up and I just really appreciate you guys being part of this community and, and it returns to your loyalty to this channel and you supporting me through the process. I like to give you a free drum kit. It's called Tony Shen Slap Pack Volume 1. It's free for you guys to get. Amazing drum kit. 10 out of 10 would recommend because it's my own drum kit. So with that being said, let's get to the tutorial all right so we're gonna open up voltage modular again i'm gonna include the download link in the description so you guys can go cop that and um yeah the, the installation is, is pretty easy to do you know it's like a legitimate like free software that they want you to have so <laughs> i'm gonna play with it this is the first thing you see when you when you see when you open it up um like i said this is like a modular synthesis uh, emulator essentially and basically what modular synthesis is is like you have a bunch of components that you could basically use to build your own equipment with so what we're gonna make is I kind of want to make like a like a saw keyboard and that you know sounds really luscious and just really great for like R&B and like more poppy stuff first thing you need is, is an oscillator that's the thing that generates the noise or the sound pull that up and then put one here and as you can see, it might look pretty complicated, but I'm gonna break this down. We're gonna make this together. We're gonna you know hold hands through it, so it's gonna be pretty pretty cool. First thing you wanna do when you pull up the oscillator is you wanna link your pitch to like your your you know like the control like your MIDI, right? So like you know if I'm clicking notes on my keyboard, you can see this MIDI is lighting up, so you know signal is going through here. And you wanna link the pitch to the oscillator so that like the oscillator makes the same pitch that you the, the, with the note that you press right and then the next component we're gonna need is an amplifier because that's the thing that um you know amplifies the sound so that you can hear it right the next thing we're gonna need is like an envelope generator right because as of right now we don't have any way of controlling the attack decay um you know sustain release so we're gonna need to throw in our envelope yeah so you know let's start out simple we can start with that now so first thing you want to do is kind of find where the sound is coming from, right? So the sound is generated from the oscillator, and then this is the type of wave um, form that it's gonna do. So since we said saw, let's you know use, use a saw, we're gonna connect the saw, and basically you can wire it to like different stuff, right? So in this case, we're gonna wire it to the, um, to the CV amount because that's the control voltage amount. CV stands for control voltage. And basically what's happening is that, you know, current and input is being translated, is, is being transferred and generated from this oscillator, right? And the signal's going into the CV amount of this amplifier. And then for the input, we're going to, you know, use the output of the envelope generator. And the gate in, we want to con we want to control that with our, with our gate, which is your CV source. And this is basically like your, your, your whole console. And then we want to turn the gain up a little bit. And so the next step is to um, is to connect your output here to like your your main output. So this is what. So if you don't wire this, you're not gonna be able to hear anything, right? So now let's test this out. And 
As you can see, we now have our basic oscillator instrument that's like a saw wave. Super basic, but we made our first instrument together. Congratulations. Um, now we can kind of shape we can kind of shape the sound so you know, add a little bit of attack to, to you know give it a little bit of sidechain vibe. Right? You can you know add a add some decay and then turn down the sustain a little bit, add a release. Now I know you know this sounds super basic. There's more stuff that we can add. There's um the good thing with voltage modular is that it comes with like actually a lot of tools that you could use, and they're all amazing tools. Next up, we're gonna open up the filter to kind of like manipulate the sound, right? Because it sounds kind of boring right now. We can do it with the filter is we can add another envelope to it, right? And then have it control the filter. So now instead of this going directly into the amplifier, like the uh instead of this going directly into um the control voltage here, we can use it as the input to our filter. And then the output will be used to control the control voltage. So now basically we're wiring the filter into our circuit. And now we, we have the filter enabled basically in, the, in, this whole, in this whole setup. It's pretty cool, right? Now I want the filter to kind of gradually open up when I press a key. So what we can do is we can add another envelope and then wire it kind of like the same way we did with the other envelope. So gate in is also going to link to this gate in. And then this output is going to be used to control this modulation. So if you, you know, add a little bit of amount, now when you press the key, you can kind of hear the filter opening up, right? Wow. Then turn up the attack time. Pretty cool, right? Now we just wired two envelopes into the circuit. Now, it sounds pretty cool, right? But there's more stuff that we could do. I don't know how much you guys know about sound design, but right now it kind of sounds a little bit dull, right? It doesn't sound really full. It sounds like, you know, just like a small portion of the sound is being, like a small frequency is being occupied within this whole spectrum. So it sounds kind of dull and empty and we could definitely add more stuff to it. Let's align this right. So, okay, so, um, next thing I want to add is another oscillator, right? We can add as many oscillators as we want, but I want to have three oscillators just because three oscillators will give you that full rich texture. So now instead of just linking it directly to your filter and then, um, you know, linking all those to your filter, you could do that. But what I want to do is we could actually use a six input mixer to like control the gain of each of those oscillators separately. So it gives you just, you know, more flexible control and, you know, you can kind of like turn some oscillators up higher and others down lower. So, um, you know, we could link this to channel two, link this to channel three and link the output here into your filter. So listen. Okay. I forgot to link the pitch. So that's why everything was out of tune. So make sure that the pitch of all these oscillators are connected to your um, input pitch. So like your, your MIDI, right? So now everything should be in tune. And um, if you guys worked with other, you know, synthesizers, VSTs, um, you know, there's like a little bit, there's this option called detune, right? You can do this here by just offsetting the the tuning frequency of these just a little bit so like you know i can turn this down a little bit turn this up you know and turn this down a little bit and listen so now effectively what we did is we just added some detune to it it sounds more full and it sounds more impactful right Okay, so, you know, this is actually sounding more like a lead. We could use this for like lead playing. More than a key. So yeah, we're kind of just making a lead. <laughs> but, you know, it's still really useful, right? So now, um, 
there's again more stuff that you could add to it like effects wouldn't it sound good if there's a little bit of reverb to it or like a chorus effect or something like that right so now we can wire in um let's add a delay actually so um so how do you enable this delay how do you wire it into your instrument well that's a good question um you would find the output from your amplifier right you would disconnect that um right now and then connect this into the input of your delay and then make sure that your output is connected to the output of you know your main out and then now you're gonna be able to hear a delay <laughs> Unfortunately, this doesn't sync to your BPM automatically. So what you would need to do is you would need to you know, go on this website called like delaycalculator.com or whatever. Just enter your BPM and it'll tell you like the, the milliseconds you need to enter for like the right um, on beat delay. So yeah, that's just that. Next, we can add a little bit of reverb, right? So there's this uh, spring reverb effect that you can add. And again, same thing, your output, instead of connecting it to your main out directly, connect it to the input of your spring reverb, reverb, and then um, connect the output directly to your main out, and then listen. Hear that reverb? Sounds pretty cool, right? It sounds like an actual lead that we could use. So now I just kind of want to just you know, demonstrate on how you could use it for a melody. Oh, this, this is like a typical lead that you could have for your beats that's like really usable. And what makes it so special about this lead is that we made it ourselves and you just, you know, always feel so special. And there's tons of ways you can customize it. There's tons of other plugins that you could use to add to it and just make it your own sound. That's what just makes it so special. Like now I'm gonna demonstrate um, just making a beat with the sound that we just made. So, um, you know, I'm gonna add, add a few chords and um, yeah, that'll be it. Okay, so I kind of just threw it together this really quick loop. Um, this is like a basic Rhodes piano with like some drums. Super simple and basically, you know, we're just gonna freestyle a lead over it and it'll be like a demonstration of what we just made. And then yeah, let's have fun with it. I'm not the best at freestyling, but that was something. Um, but yeah, it sounds good as a lead, just like in terms of the sound design wise, like. I need to EQ out some of the high ends, but it sounds great. And so, you know, if you think about it, we made this instrument ourselves and it's just something that we created from scratch and it just feels so good knowing that you made it. But also like there's so many other options you can do. You know, there's LFOs you can play with and you can, you know, control certain variables with, with your MIDI keyboard and stuff. It's just so much more stuff out there. And this video is kind of just like an introduction to this plugin. It's like a free VST and I'm going to be using it for a lot of my other beat tutorials. So be on the lookout for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was very informative and you learned something from it. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Don't forget your free drum kit on the way out. It's like a goodie bag for you. Take care, take it easy, and have a good one.